Hey everyone, it's Tiffany with Thrifty Tiffany and I am back with a cooking video, actually a baking video. I'm gonna be baking a good old Southern cream cheese pound cake. So I have my bunt pan right here. I have um, three sticks of butter and all of these ingredients you can get from the Dollar Tree. Um, this is the butter, I got it from Dollar Tree and you need a cup and a half, which is three sticks of butter. And then I have cream cheese. I actually got this cream cheese from Walmart because it was only 67 cents. So I got one pack of cream cheese. I got the butter spray from Dollar Tree. I got my measuring cup. I have six eggs. Again, you can get eggs if your store has a frozen section. You can get eggs. They have like frozen refrigerator section. Um, you can get eggs, butter, and cream cheese. I haven't tried their cream cheese. So again, this was cheaper at Walmart for 67 cents. So I went for that. They do have vanilla sometimes, but I'm using what I have on hand. I'm actually going to make this a cream cheese lemon pound cake. So I'm going to use this pure lemon extract and also use some vanilla pure extract. Uh, this I believe I got from Aldi not sure where I probably got this from Kroger or something like that um, but you can get um, vanilla in little tubes from Dollar Tree I'm using flour and sugar both can be bought at Dollar Tree and then this is my mixing uh, bowl with my blender right there but uh, and then you will need salt and that's pretty much it so these are all the ingredients and I'm gonna flip it around so you can watch me make it okay so first things first you're gonna take your room temperature your eggs your cream cheese and your butter should all be room temperature um, this has been sitting out for a while so it's nice and soft you can tell see how soft it is um, so I'm gonna just put the butter all three sticks of butter a margarine then you're gonna take your um, full thing of cream cheese and we're gonna mix these ingredient two ingredients together this is really soft how soft this is very 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 soft I like to make sure I get it all in there <laughs> with my hands Sometimes when it gets soft, it sticks on the paper. Make sure I got it. All right, so that's all of that. Let me wipe my hands off. Now we're going to mix these together, beat them, Nice and fluffy. I'm gonna get another bowl for the dry ingredients. Oh, the oven, the, uh, oven is ready. I got this big bowl for the dry ingredients. Oh, one. Okay, so next you're gonna put your dry ingredients in here and I have completely lost my sifter. So I'm not gonna be able to sift the flour, but you should sift it twice. Um, but I'm not gonna be able to. So, we're gonna 
hopefully that this doesn't come out too too dense try to like do it like this <laughs> so one you need three cups of flour you need three cups of flour Hold on. let me see came in sorry came and came in two so this is the second cup I'm just shaking it cuz again don't know what happened to my sifter I thought I had a sifter I know I had one because I used to make pound cakes all the time. So this is three cups and we're just gonna do this. Three cups and then three cups of sugar. Three cups of sugar. Oh, nice. Those are nice, looks good. three cups of sugar, and then we're gonna also need, um, what do you call it, uh, a pinch of salt. That's my pinch. Pinch of salt. And let's see. Okay, and then next, let's see, I'm going to mix this. Just use this to mix it first. Get it all the dry ingredients mixed really well. So it's all incorporated together, mixed sugar, flour. I think I was actually supposed to put the sugar in the wet mixture, but you know what? We're just gonna go with the flow because I've already messed up. So now we're gonna um, do like an egg at a time and mix. And another egg. So I'm a little messed up on this. I used to make these all the time. So I'm out of sync. I haven't made one in a while. It's been a while since I've made a pound cake. I used to actually sell pound cakes. Had a little business for a few So we're gonna add some lemon extract. I just kind of pour. We can measure. If we, no, I just kind of pour, y'all. I want it real lemony. I'm gonna add a little bit of vanilla. All right, then we're gonna add, make sure it smells lemony. I might have to add a little bit of more. It's a little bit more lemon. Okay, then we're going to add all of this to this. Not at one time. Turn around 
so you can see. This is the consistency that you want it. Oh, Bella just meowed loud. This is the consistency. And then we're gonna put it in the pan. Okay, so now we're gonna take the spray and spray the pan. Really good, really, really good. Sprayed it really good. I'm gonna pour it in the pan. It's a thick, it's a thick mixture. Pound cake is a denser cake than you know, just a regular cake. Oven on 325 for about an hour. I'll just hit it on that a couple times to get it down in the I'm just going to take this and wrap around it so it has a smooth top. Alright. There we go. That is it. Now she's going in the oven. So I just pulled out the pound cake. This is it. So I'm going to let it rest for about 10 minutes and then I'm going to flip it over on the cake stand. This is it. It turned out beautiful. So this is the finished pound cake, but I am going to add a glaze to the top. So that is next, a lemon glaze, and I'll show you how I make that. Okay, so I'm gonna make the um, glaze for the pound cake, and you just put um, powdered sugar. Start with powdered sugar. And then add some lemon juice because this is a lemon. Let me get my lemon juice thing. Okay, so I'm gonna use my little lemon juice squeezer. Put it in there. Actually put it backwards so it'll come down this way. some butter okay I'm gonna melt about this much butter in my little container here for the icing for the glaze okay so this is the butter we have we're gonna add it to here just a little bit at a time and it has the lemon juice in there add some more okay now it's starting to thicken up Try to put y'all low enough where y'all can see. Add some more lemon juice. There we go. See, it's starting to make a glaze. So that was a half of a lemon. Because you don't need too much glaze. You just want it lightly to cover. Okay, 
Oh, it's like a smooth. Okay, so here is the icing I made. The glaze. I'm just going to pour it over there, over the top. all like fall down um. There you go. Now it's gonna all fall down perfectly. Look, little puddle. It just takes time for it to all start falling. But it came out perfect. This is the pound cake. There's the pretty pound cake.